guys, so today I thought it'd be really fun to do an everyday makeup tutorial because it's been a really long time since I've just sat down and done like a normal makeup tutorial. I've been doing get the looks, couture looks, and a lot of fashion lately, so I just kind of wanted to update in the makeup realm and just share some really cool products. So this video is sponsored by Pat McGrath. And I am so shook that they even reached out to me to partner with them. I was so excited. You guys know how much of a fashion junkie, like I absorb all of the runway shows and I love all of that. And she is like the makeup artist. She really like starts a lot of makeup trends. And I feel like she really understands like these editorial looks and making the skin look like skin. And so her newest launch is a foundation. This is Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And it is such a no makeup makeup product but it still offers so much more coverage. You guys are gonna see me apply it and all of that in this video, obviously. But I did wanna know if you guys have tried it yourself. Definitely leave a comment in the comments down below so we can chat about it. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this because we all know that it is a pretty cha-ching kind of a product. As for me, I've been using this for like about a week and you guys, I really, really love it. It's like everything that I would want in a foundation, really. I'm all about that, like no makeup, makeup look, but I still like to get a little bit of coverage because your girl has some acne scars and all of that and I will check in at the end of the day because since it is such a expensive product I feel like that's only fair to let you guys know how long this lasts and everything let's just go ahead and start with some face prep I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath skin fetish sublime perfection primer I'm just gonna do like a few pumps of that and I always like to concentrate it on my cheeks. This is where my makeup tends to start slipping throughout the day. So this is gonna help the foundation adhere really nicely. And it also just moisturizes the skin so nicely. So my go-to makeup look has definitely been like bushy brows. I love like really beefing these guys up. A really nice dewy natural finish skin. A lot of dewy highlight, some lip liner just to make my lips extra pouty, and a little baby wing. So that's what we're gonna get into. So I'm just gonna go ahead and breeze through my eyes because it's super easy. I'm gonna use this palette is the newest one from ColourPop. I usually just take any kind of like brownie, peachy brownie nude. I'm gonna use the tone copycat. This one is pretty orangey actually, a lot more orangey than I thought. I'm gonna take pink slip as well. And then actually I like to take my bronzer. This is just the Aladdin collection by MAC. The bronzers were so good. I really loved the Aladdin collection actually. With a smaller brush like this and again my bronzer. I'm just gonna add that right underneath. So I'm actually going to take this Mirage palette, this is by Profusion. I'm going to use this shade just to neutralize. I feel like when you add a little bit of white or like a paler shade of brown down here, it just gives you a little bit more depth, so that's what I've been really liking to do. I'm just going to take that wet spoolie and pick up some product like this. And then I am just going to brush these babies up. Then I'm going to use the Glossier Brow Flick just to fill in and give some extra little wispiness to these areas here. I'm going to go ahead and move on to my little baby wing liner in case I like mess up or anything. I don't have my foundation on yet and I can just like quickly wipe it away. So what I like to do, I usually like to stretch this out. And then I'm gonna use my mirror now because I cannot do this just on there. I like to just do a, the babyest wing. Like that. And then I'll start to do little. And it just helps to kind of elongate. And this is actually black, but sometimes I'll even use brown. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this eye. So now that I have my little cat eye, I like to take a little bit of a dark brown. I'm back to this palette, and I'm just taking this dark brown. It's called In Bold. Connect the dark brown right to the black liner, and then just smudge it halfway just to kind of soften it a little bit. So obviously we've already prepped our skin with the Pat McGrath Skin Finish Primer. So we're gonna go right into the foundation, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. I'm gonna be using medium 15, but I just got back from a trip so I might be 
a bit darker. No, this one actually matches really nicely. So I'm just going to pump a few and it has such a nice like consistency. I'm going to apply that with my finger first. And then with my beauty blender, I'm going to grab the excess that I didn't use and then just start buffing it out. I feel like it has such an incredible consistency. Like it has like that really pretty like satiny finish to the skin. I like literally don't even use concealer with this product because I want my skin to look so skin like. And I feel like it gives just enough coverage. Like my face completely feels like all of the blemishes that I have on my cheeks and things like those are covered up. So you can see the skin just looks really luminous still kind of juicy and natural like I look like I have some life to my skin again I'm gonna go ahead and move on to just kind of sculpting some cheekbones up in this face so I'm gonna go right under here just really lightly and then I'm gonna use the middle shade give myself a boost of lip <laughs> And to set those products so that they can last all day, I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfecting Setting Powder. I'm just gonna apply it where I tend to crease, which is right in this area, the smile line, right under the eye. And it just looks like really natural, this powder. It's not super thick. So now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the face with the powder one. This is, again, the Aladdin and Matte. Lightly brush up here. And then I like to take a creamy blush. This one is called Doll. This is by Sunny's Face. And then I'm gonna quickly do my lashes. I'm just gonna put a grip of mascara. This one is so incredible. This is by Lancome. All we have to do is finish up with some lips. I'm gonna use the Subculture. This is by MAC uh, Lip Liner. And it's just like this really nice nude that has a little hint of, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it suits my lip tone. Put into like the plump lip. It's gonna kind of fill the whole lip in. And then I'm gonna use the Honest Beauty. This one is called BFF. And it is a liquid lipstick, but it is very, very comfortable. It matches like really nice. I'm gonna use a powder highlight. This one is by ColourPop, it's called Off Tropic. And I always like to just take a little bit on my finger and just add it to the inner corner so that we sparkle there. This is my makeup without any highlighter. You can see that like my skin kind of still catches the light, but it's in such a subtle and like natural finish. I really love that. I have powder, I have foundation, and I have no concealer, but it's still, I don't know, I feel like it has a lot of coverage. So that's what I've been really loving about the Pat McGrath foundation. To finish off the look though, I love a dewy sheen to the skin. So I'm gonna be using the dewy sticks. This is by Ciate, and it's just a little highlight stick that you can apply pretty much anywhere, but I really love to just add it right here to the cheekbones where the, I really like to add it to everywhere where the sun and light naturally catch. Like I like this formula for the upper lips, the super shock cheeks. So. so that is my everyday makeup look, but don't forget we are going to check back in so you guys can see how this foundation wears and then we will close off this video. I have to go find some outfits because I'm going on a retreat tomorrow and I feel like I don't have too many like swimsuits. So I'm gonna go try to find some summer sales at the mall. What time is it? I think it's like 1 p.m. right now. I had kind of a late start because I was working on some things on my computer in the morning. So let's go hit some stores and hopefully we find some good stuff. So I just got to South Coast Plaza. I'm gonna find a few outfits for this retreat that I'm going to tomorrow. Anyways, back to the foundation. This is just three hours after I applied it. It is currently 4.30 and I'm sure I'm gonna be in the mall for a few hours. So I'll check back in after that and maybe I'll show you guys what I find as well if you're interested. Here is a close up as well. I feel like nothing has really traveled. It still looks the same. I want to say. Okay, so I'm just checking in 
for the foundation test. This is what my skin looks like right now. I'm gonna try these things on. I'm at Zara. Always end up at Zara. Okay, so it's 7 p.m. now. This is what the foundation is looking like right now. I feel a little bit like oily here, but that's really normal for me. We will check in one last time so you guys can get a close up look back in my bedroom. Okay, so it is 9 p.m. Um, this is gonna be the final check in for the foundation. Um, you can see what my skin looks like. I think it definitely produced a bit more oil, like where I said my skin produces oil. It's always the cheeks and the T-zone. So it's like here, here, and like here. I feel like this looks really good though, because usually my nose, it's like super red and like it'll break up right in here, but I feel like it hasn't done that yet. It could be the powder that's definitely helping the foundation and also like on the smile lines. Like I haven't touched up at all, as you can tell by <laughs> my eyes, that I totally forgot that I had a wing liner and I just smudged away. Yeah, I still feel like the foundation looks really skin-like and it's very promising. This isn't the first time that I've worn this foundation. So I was really impressed the first time that I wore it and I wasn't really like checking in every single day, but at the end of the day, I did notice that my skin still looked pretty good and like I still had an even veil of coverage where as sometimes with these more liquidy lightweight foundations it tends to go like I can always see like my scars again um, and definitely like I said it breaks up right here on the nose yeah I really like this foundation definitely give it a try on your own if you are into it I'm gonna get back to eating I mean editing and um, I will talk to you guys later <laughs> bye